ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಮುನತೀರಾವನಚಾರಿ ಜಮುನತೀರಾವನಚಾರಿ ಹರಿನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಯಜ್ಞ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಕಿ ಜಗದ್ಗುರುಶೀಲ ಪ್ರೌಪಾದ ಕಿ ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿರಂದ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನಾಶಲಾಕಯ 
चक्षुरुन्मीलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमो विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषाशून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य नामने गौरतिषे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपि कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानोसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि वाचाकतर कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिदा पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गाद श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगुम लंगायते गिरी यत्तम वंदे श्रीगुर दीनतारण पर्वानंदमाधव श्री चैतन्य विश्वर हरे कृष्णा वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन फॉर दिस फेस्टिवल ऑफ एनलाइटनमेंट कंडक्टेड बाय इसको फोरम मारातली सो वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भगवद गीता सो टुडे टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग श्रवणम द मिराकल्स ऑफ हियरिंग सो शील प्रोपात हैज थॉट हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज हियरिंग इन आवर स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ so without hearing so we cannot progress in the path of spirituality very difficult so cannot progress so today we'll see 10 miracles of hearing mm. so there can be many but uh, we just uh, summarized into 10 mm. so what are this uh, 10 miracles of hearing mm. so hope everyone know pralad maharaj mm. who is he ha Google, like <laughs> he's the son of the great demon in the history. Hiranya Hiranya Kashipu. Hmm? But this Prahlad Maharaj is a great devotee of the Lord. Hmm? For for him, so Lord Vishnu came in the form of Narasimha Dev and then destroyed Hiranya Kashipu. Hmm? So this Prahlad, <clears throat> when uh, Kayatu, that is uh, Prahlad's mother. that is wife of hiranya kashipu mm. so when she was pregnant so at that time hiranya hiranya kashipu was in a great deep tapasya mm. ghora tapasya in fact mm. so at that time no one to take care so once uh, indra mm. so by that time at that time so all the demigods were very much terrified with the demonic nature and the strength power of hiranya kashipu mm. so it's told where hiranyakashipu raises his eyebrow sun god would go down it seems so much terrified so much terrifying this hiranyakashipu was mm-hmm. so everyone got to know 
that Hiranyakashipu went for deep tapasya and no one is there. At the time, Kayate was pregnant. So then Indra came and he planned to kidnap Kayatu. So thinking, now the father is only like this. And if son comes, how much danger he will be. <laughs> so thinking in this way, so Indra came to kidnap Kayatu, the wife of Hiranyaksha. And he was taking Kayatu to some other place and planning to kill the baby inside the womb of Kayatu. Thinking that he will be a greatest danger in the future. Then Narada Muni comes in the way and he tells, Oh Indra, what are you doing? Then he told the whole story. Then Narada says, Oh Indra, don't be mistaken. The child in the womb of Kayadu is not a normal personality. In the future, he will become a great devotee of the Lord. He will become a great devotee of the Lord. So after immediately just hearing Narada Muni, do you know what Indra did? After hearing that from Narada Muni, he accepted the fact, yes, this child will not be a normal person. He will be a great devotee. So what Indra did? He circumambulated Kayatu. There is a great devotee is coming. So we can understand that how much faith one should have on the words of a sadhu. Indra just heard once that Narada told me it's perfect. He heard and kept a complete faith on the words by hearing. And it circumambulated Kayatu and just left the place. So at that time for Kayatu there is no shelter. So Narada Muni took Kayatu to his hermitage. So there he was taking care of. She was taking care at the time. So at that time Narada Muni started speaking Bhagavatam. The glories of the Lord, the activities of the Lord. And she was speaking, speaking, speaking. Sometimes we also during our festival of enlightenment, we go for a dose during the class. <laughs> so even Kayatu felt <clears throat> when Narada Muni was describing the whole Bhagavata Katha, so Kayatu felt very sleepy and she dozed off. But Narada Muni didn't stop, he just speaking, speaking, speaking. Then he got to know. Hey, she was speaking, why to speak, why to continue Bhagavatam. But when he was speaking, there are some words are coming out. Mm. 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 Do you know who is he? Prahlad Maharaj, in the womb of the Kayatu, he was hearing Bhagavatam. From Narada Muni, arre, arre, arre. <laughs> then Narada Muni starts speaking Bhagavatam continuously. In this way, Prahlad Maharaj heard Bhagavatam in the womb only. And he became a devo great devotee of the Lord, even in the womb. Hmm? So later, then Narada Prahlad was taken birth. Hmm? He took birth. <clears throat> and he also was sent to school, like all of us. And he was also taught the same lectures, A, B, C, D, maths, all the demonic teachings they were taught. <laughs> And uh, the teachers are Shanda and Amaraka. These were the teachers of Prahlad Maharaj's demonic Gurukul. So this Gurukul basically meant for all the demonic people. There basically all the demonic teachings were done. So what were taught? Politics, diplomacy, science, chemistry, all this also were taught. And one day, so after Prahlad Maharaj coming from the Gurukul to house, so Hiranyakashipu asked, Prahlad, my dear son, Son, huh? so much of affection. So he asked Prahlad, my dear Prahlad, so what is the best thing you have learnt from your spiritual master? Then, after telling, hearing this term spiritual master, so Prahlad Maharaj didn't think about uh, Shanda Namarka. He thought about Narada Muni, who taught him Bhagavatam in the womb, when he was in the womb. So then he started speaking this beautiful shloka. <coughs> you all can repeat after me. Shavanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Pada Sevanam Archanam Vandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atmani Vedanam Iti Pumsarpita Vishnu Bhakti Stenava Lakshana Kriyeta Bhagavat Adha Tan manye adita muttamam. So these are the slokas, two slokas, told by Prahlad Maharaj when he was asked for this. And he was saying, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu. Now Hiranyakashipu is a great enemy of Vishnu. And now here, Prahlad Maharaj is glorifying Vishnu. <laughs> he was telling, 
So what is the best thing you learned from your spiritual master of Prahala? Then Prahala is telling. So Shavanam, Kirtan, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasinam, Vachanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Akka, Nivedanam. So these are the nine process of devotional service. So we have practiced Bhakti, right? So this Bhakti is also nine aspects, all these things. And what else is telling Prahala? Oh my dear father, oh my dear demonic father. So whoever practices this devotional service throughout their life, every single moment, he should be considered, he is the most knowledgeable person. And after hearing this, Siran Jagashiva got so much of angry. So that we'll discuss in future. So what is the next part? So here, when he is told all these uh, nine limbs of bhakti, what is the first thing? Shravanam. The most important thing of all the aspects of bhakti is Shravanam. Hearing. So that's why we are saying today's topic is Shravanam. So Prahlad Maharaj is telling, Shravanam is the most important thing of all practice of devotional service. So therefore, Krishna also gave us two years and only one month. <laughs> how scientific it is. So speak less, hear more. <laughs> this is so scientific. So why, 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 what is the importance of this hearing? So what is this importance? So whatever we hear now, so that will shape our consciousness. That will mold our aspirations. Mm. So if we hear about some materialist, about some material aspects, automatically we will aspect some material things. Yes or no? Now we are in the temple, now we are discussing about Shravanam, Ketan, all the Bhakti Yoga. Once you go back to the office, in your lunch table, what we will discuss? Mm. Today's good Bitcoin, how much you are investing? So what's your future plan? Bungalow, palace, yes or no? Even though we don't have those much desires, material desires, even though we have desire, no, I want to practice Krishna consciousness. I want to attain Krishna this very life. Mm. I want to practice bhakti very nicely. This may be our desire, once we, but once we go back to the office, the whole aspiration changes. We think, no, this is not right, that is right. But still hearing more and more what happens. We may have to, oh, maybe this must be correct. So let me change my desire. Mm. So basically our shravanam that changes or modifies our aspirations either material or spiritual. So that's why this process of Shravanam is very, very important. Very, very important. Mm. So Krishna will sanction whatever we desire. That is another thing. Now, this, we are, whatever you are hearing, we are aspiring for that. Yes or no? And Krishna will bestow that. Either spiritual or material. Externally, we may know this is not right. But if we desire, Krishna is saying as Paramatma. He'll sanction. Katastu. Mm. So that should be very, very cautious. What are we desiring of? Means how, what, how do we think? How can we conclude? The, what am I desiring? It will come from what am I hearing? Understanding? How important is the process of hearing? Mm. So let's see. So we'll see 10 miracles. So let's see the first miracle. So I'll ask you each and every time. Mm. All the miracles. You have to revise. Hear carefully. So first miracle of hearing is... So we once who hears, he gets free from illusion, fearfulness, and lamentation. Mm. There is a first miracle that happens by hearing. Mm. So let's chant this sloka together. I'll chant again, repeat after. Yasyam vai shuyamanayam Krishne parama purushe Bhaktir Utpadyate Pumsa Shoka Moha Bayapaha Translation Mm. So you can see, I am giving you a reference, not just telling. So he's telling, it comes from Srimad Bhagavatam. So what it says, just by giving oral reception, oral reception is hearing. By just giving what happens, the love of God had manifest and lamentation, illusion and fearfulness, bhaya, are just reward by just hearing about the Lord. Such a wonderful thing. So in our life, most of the time we may be thinking, illusion, if I get this, I'll be happy. 
if i get that i'll be happy always hankering 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 and thinking that i'll be happy this is the biggest illusion in the material world yes or no <laughs> krishna himself says this world is dukkhalayam ashashvatam in dukkha how can i get happiness by getting some material thing so this is illusion and next fear once i get it what if i lose it yes or no now i got a job very nice what if i lose it hmm that bhaya is there and after losing it we lament oh, i lost it i lost it i lost it hmm. so all the time we are stuck in the cycle it is not only few people all over the world each and every one of us was stuck in the cycle of lamentation illusion and fearfulness hmm. so when we hear about hari katha when we hear about krishna this illusion fearfulness and lamentation will be removed mm. so that is the first miracle of hearing mm. that is the first miracle of hearing mm. so if you don't hear what happens we just will be stuck, stuck in the cycle mm. and the entire life goes only in this anxiety either i will be hankering for something if i get it what if i lose it fearfulness and after losing it lamentation we just stuck in the cycle and will be all the time anxiety all the time till the time of death still will be anxious still will be anxious mm. so one should hear this when one have that eagerness to hear about krishna all these three stress will be removed devastated from the heart mm. so this is the first miracle of hearing so what is the first miracle free from illusion fearfulness and lamentation it will be removed that is first thing hmm? next it clarifies our sambandha abhidaya and prayojana from past few classes i am uh, repeating this points so what is sambandha relationship yes ha huh? oh, between us and god good abhidaya means process good hmm. prayojan means prayojan what are the activities here that is abhidaya what are the activities you do prayojan means the result the activities you are doing what is the result of this activity hmm? those are the this is very very important so i'll try to repeat this again and again hmm? three terms are very important hmm? so what is this all samband about some relationship hmm? so developing a relationship so i'll give a crude example now suppose a boy looks at a girl so if he is not looking sometimes people here no discuss have have seen macha that girl is so beautiful by just hearing we get the desire if you don't look at it by just hearing from our friends automatically develop a desire are i want to look at it same for movies also mm. if you go for a movie even the other person didn't see you go and share with your friend macha this movie is very fantastic mm. we just speaking it and the person is hearing it and when we hear what happens automatically he get a desire yes i also want to go and watch the movie similarly about even a female also hey hearing from your friend this female is so beautiful mm. we hear it and develop a desire in the heart let me also see mm. and we get a desire to see and after getting it is there after looking at and a person falls in love yes or no either falls falls in love and waste the time both are one and the same mm? so this is a relationship mm? by just hearing one develops a relationship this is the material example i have given mm? so that we get, all the youth can understand mm? Mm? and the relationship that is what i am telling the most important thing that develops a relationship between two persons or one person and material anything is hearing shravanam when we hear about that person automatically that relationship comes so now we are taking that uh, discussing the term called sambandha so in this sambandha there are many terms involved so first thing is understanding who is god that is first question and the second question is who am i and the third question is what is my relationship with the god that is third question fourth one understanding what is my relationship with the god 
how should i act in that relationship there is a fourth question hmm. and next question where am i what is my position right now so the all these questions constitute sambandha understood repeat what is first thing who is god who am i who am i who what is the relation with me and god what so what are the things should be done in that relationship next what is my position now where am i hmm? so that is called sambandha hmm. <clears throat> and next is prayojana prayojana is goal what is the goal and next thing is abhideya abhideya means process that is pure devotional service so all the bhakti process what you are doing here now we are discussing the class chanting of hari krishna mantra doing some service hearing the lectures all this comes under abhideya process and what is the goal of life Uh, rendering pure devotion service. Attaining what? Ah, uh, attaining Krishna prema. Hmm? So breaking the cycle of birth and death, and go back to the Lord and serve the Lord eternally. So this is the goal of life. And to the get that goal, we have to do abhidaya, the pure devotional service. Understand? So this is the thing. So regarding some of the how the relationship all about. Hmm? So there was one past time happened in Prabhupada's life. So one newly married couple came. They were also practicing devotees. Initially started bhakti, like all of us. Then newly married couple came to Prabhupad, and uh, they were taking blessings. And Prabhupad asked, "So who, or to whom you have more attachment, either to Krishna or your husband?" Very tricky question. <laughs> and that Madhav ji told, she started crying. And Prabhupad asked, "Why are you crying?" See, I am started my practice of bhakti now. Mm. Recently, mm. I don't have good knowledge. See, this person whom I married, I don't know more about him. And now, now recently I started practicing bhakti, chanting Hare Krishna. I don't know much about Krishna also. Yes or no? So I don't have proper relationship with anyone. Means basically the sambandha is not proper. Understanding? So until the sambandha is clear in our life, the relationship with the Lord is clear in our life. we cannot progress on the path of bhakti we cannot have the goal also properly and we cannot have practice the abhidaya also properly so that's why sambandha should be cleared hmm? so who is god god is supreme personality god head. and who am i i'm part and parcel of krishna so what is my relationship i'm part and parcel of krishna he is my master and i am his servant so what are the activities i have to serve but what what position i am right now i am a servant only but still i am thinking i am a master and that's the master position we are in the material world so what's the thing i have to cut down the master attitude and completely cultivate the attitude of service and render service to the lord so when we have clarity of this sambandha then automatically our goal will be fixed and the when the goal is fixed automatically the process of bhakti which we are rendering or practicing will be perfect understood hmm? this is the point so there is a nice example from a shrimad bhagavatam from krishna story we will understand uh first not first mm-hmm. uh cute love story from shrimad bhagavatam eager to hear yes yes <laughs> so how just by hearing we can develop relationship everyone know rukmini who is she krishna's krishna's wife yes krishna's one of the wives mm-hmm. So, do you know how both of them got married? Hmm? Ah, uh, how? Ah. 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 Something happened. <laughs> Let's discuss in detail. Very interesting this is. Hmm? So, when Rukmini was there in the palace, hmm? every day Narada Muni would come to her palace and describe describe about the Lord, Lord's activities. lord's form lord's greatness she was just hearing nothing else she never looked at krishna before even once she was just hearing about krishna from narada muni about his activities about his form just hearing 
So there was a nice uh, sloka from uh, Bhagavatam which says, describes about the Lord's beautiful form. So this says, Barha Pedam Natavarapu Karnayor Karnikaram Bibratvasaha Kanaka Kapisham Vaijayanti Chamalam Randra Nvenuradara Sudaya Purayan Gopa Vrinde Vrindaranya Swapadaramanam Pravishad Gita Kirti Barha Pedam means peacock feather. So this person who is there, he is wearing a beautiful peak of feather on his head, on his forehead. And what else? Blue Karnika flowers on his ears. Mm. A yellow garment as brilliant as gold. His garment is yellow. Mm. Lord's garment. Mm. And the Vaijayanti garland. And he was wearing a Vaijayanti garland, which is of beautiful flowers from various forests. Mm. And Lord Krishna exhibited his transcendental form as the greatest of dancer. Natavarupu. Natavarupu means dancer. Mm. Greatest dancer. Why is known as greatest dancer? Mm. When he was dancing on Kaliya. You heard this story, you know? Kaliya. So do you know how the snakes will be? Their body? Slippery. Mm? Have you touched anything? You would you like to? No, don't try. <laughs> you can just see. Hmm? Snakes, their heights are very slippery. Hmm? But Kaliya has thousands of foods like this. And Krishna danced on those foods. Hmm? So nicely, without sleeping. So that is known as the greatest dancer. Natavarabhu. Hmm? Karnayur Karnikaharam is the greatest dancer of the forest of Vrindavan. Beautifying it, the marks of the footprints. Hmm? He filled the holes of his flute with the nectar of his lips and the coward boy sang his glories like anything. So this sloka is describing the beautiful form of the Lord. By hearing this sloka, Shukadeva Goswami, the son of Vyasadeva, he became the devotee of the Lord. He didn't see the Lord face to face anytime. By just hearing this one sloka, he became devotee of the Lord. So similarly, even Rukmini, just hearing about the Lord from Narada Muni, she became devotee of the Lord. So this is the same condition with all of us, yes or no? We didn't see Krishna face to face. So when we hear about Krishna from Vedic scriptures, automatically we can develop that relationship. So even Rukmini also similarly here, by just hearing from Ranadhar Muni, she fell in love with Krishna. And she written love letter to Krishna. So this is the first ever love letter in the history of the world. <laughs> and in the love letter, she written points. How to kidnap her? Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4. She written everything. And during her swayambar, all this stuff. So, all in no swayambar happened. So, uh, Rukmini's uh, brother, Rukmi, he already decided to get Rukmini married to who? Who is he? Another person. <laughs> okay. Who is he? Hi, he's a friend of Jarasandha. I also, I did also forgot just asking. Him. So he's already decided to Shishupath, sorry. Shishupath. He planned to marry to Shishupath. So during that marriage day, then Krishna came in the chariot. By just looking at Krishna, Rukmini identified that he is Krishna. Means she never ever looked at Krishna before. We just hearing, hearing about Krishna. She fell in love with Krishna. And when Krishna came, she already got to know that she is Krishna. And when Krishna came, she got on the chariot and they left. Here we were not able to understand who could name whom. <laughs> she only came up on the chariot and told, Chalo, chale. Krishna didn't tell anything. She only came, climbed the chariot and left. So from here, this example, we can understand that by just hearing, we can develop that relationship that Samanda will be cleared. Mm. So this very, very important process of Shravanam or hearing about Krishna. Mm. After hearing, then the process, devotion service, all this stuff. So people don't only generally, people say, oh, if you want to do Bhakti, do Bhakti, okay. What is this Bhakti? Keep your heart soft, clean your heart, be a nice person. That's it enough. That's it. 
बट हाउ डू यू कीप आवर हार्ट सो क्लीन हार्पिक लाइजॉन मीन्स पीपल डोंट नो ओनली वॉट इज अ प्रोसेस वॉट इज अ गोल दे डोंट नो ओनली सो वेन वी हेयर अबाउट कृष्णा वेन वी हेयर फ्रॉम द वेज स्क्रिप्चर्स देन वील क्लियर क्लियरिटी वॉट टू बी डन वॉट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ भक्ति वॉट शुड बी डन वील गेट लाइज क्लैरिटी वॉट इज अ प्रोसेस एंड वॉट इज अ गोल ऑफ लाइफ एंड पीपल डोंट नो वॉट इज गोल ऑफ लाइफ वॉट एवर इज शोन इन द मीडिया just go behind sense gratification that is the goal don't know what is the goal of life once again i would like to ask what is the goal of life to attain krishna this very life means to engage in the service of the lord eternally 24 by 7 going back to the godhead so people don't know only this even let's say outsiders to gone they don't know even devotees also people ask this question what is the goal of life so that's why attentive hearing is very very important when we hear attentively all the stuffs sambandha abhidaya and prayojana everything will be clarified and we have then we have a nice clarity on the subject matters we can progress on the path of bhakti very nicely mm-hmm. so once it so happened you know gauranga prabhu is quite famous in his con so a few years back in a one of the tv channels He is running a series called Atma Atma series. Mm-hmm. So it's a basically a discourse in the TV. It comes. It's a basically a discourse on Bhagavad Gita, Shri Mad Bhagavatam. Mm-hmm. So every year the same lectures are repeated, same series, again and again. So one person was very interested in hearing this, and this person met the Gauranga Prabhu, and he was asking, Prabhu ji, so than the last year's lectures, this year lectures what you have gave, it's very nice, Prabhu ji. and prove you think are same lectures they were repeated <laughs> there is no difference mm-hmm. the difference is in your attentiveness since you are attentively hearing now you are able to understand now similarly sometimes when we give classes on festival of enlightenment we give the same ppt so there is no difference when some students attend the same class again he will prove ji this time classes were awesome have you changed anything in some ppt something are same ppt only <laughs> means our attentiveness is changing mm-hmm. so that's why attentive hearing is very important when we do attentive hearing all the things will be clear sambandh abhijaya and prayojan will be nicely cleared okay so what is the first miracle of hearing free from illusion fear lamentation what is second thing clarifies sambandh abhijaya and prayojan okay so let's see the third miracle of shravan mm? that is spiritual nourishment mm. sometimes say prabhu uh, devotee say prabhu i'm hearing but uh, i'm not able to remember everything has everyone had has this experience yes or no we are discuss every saturday but are we able to remember everything suppose let me ask you so last year april 20 that is today in the morning breakfast what you had or some particular festival what you had Uh, suppose let's take Krishna asked me in the morning what you had last year we don't remember <laughs> now we tell Prabhu Ji what you ate in the morning last year if you are asking but you can tell Prabhu Ji I don't know what I had but I released it very nicely yes or no that experience may be there so similarly when we are hearing also sometimes we may not be able to remember everything but that nourishment will be there by hearing that krishna katha even though we are not able to remember everything that nourishment will be there in the heart we get nourished by hearing the transcendental topics understanding so people have this all the time in this mind no i have to just uh, gain information explore more and more that is there that should be done we need knowledge we need knowledge we have to have knowledge but that is not the only thing we have to get nourished so the same example what i gave we may not be able to remember what we had in the previous day but that had nourished us our body yes or no so similarly when we hear krishna katha even though we are not able to remember but still that nourishes us and also it's not that sometimes uh, it so happens sometimes devotees cannot understand what is told in the class but they feel i don't know what they are telling but class is very good i am able to hear this nicely so once so happened in uh, shila propat life also one disciple came of shila propat and he was calling his friend 
अरे आई आई सो स्वामी जी स्पीकिंग समथिंग आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज टेलिंग आई एम नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बट ही इज स्पीकिंग वेरी नाइस लेट्स कम एंड हियर इवन दो वी नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बट जस्ट इफ यू कैन गिव अवर ओरल रिसेप्शन इफ यू कैन जस्ट गिव अवर हियरिंग दैट विल नरिश अस बट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग विद इंटेलिजेंस वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड आस्क क्वेश्चंस दैट इज इट बट स्टिल इन एनी केस वी आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बट स्टिल वी हैव टू सिट एंड हियर सिट एंड हियर बिकॉज़ दैट नरिश अस that nourish us very nicely <clears throat> and there was one more past time what happened so shila prabhupad during shila prabhupad time he was the only classical speaker no all the other new new devotees now if i ask all of you boys please come sit here and give class how do you feel yes, <laughs> so similar at the time prabhupad would just empower, empower everyone give class to like us and one devotee got that opportunity to give class and he don't know anything he was still like how 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 can i hear how can i give class i don't know anything at that time the uh, device came into the picture called dictaphone knows this dictaphone so dictaphone is a recorder of the voice hmm. so at that time during proper when he give proper lectures were there proper would giving me lectures devotees would record those lectures Ah huh, yeah, you can see there, dicta from there. So when Prabhupada is speaking, they would hold it and record their lectures, and would hear it again and again. Mm-hmm. Then this devotee thought, one devotee is preparing. They would hear that lectures and make uh, notes, the books of this. And this devotee who got the chance to speak, he went to that particular devotee and asked, "Prabhuji, can I get this uh, notes, whatever writing, dicta from here lectures of Prabhupada?" And he asked, "Why? No, just like this." so he got it so what he did in the vasa sanan university thing so he kept this uh, lectures whatever earpods were there he kept inside and he tied up the whole thing with uttar towel so that others don't see <laughs> and what is it do he plays the lecture he plays the lecture he hears the lecture from propat and he stops it and speaks so what are propat is telling he just repeating and he closes his eyes and hear and open his eyes and speaks and is repeated again and again and after the whole class everyone came to and told and uh, this particular devotee prabhu ji today's class was very nourishing wonderful class this is what they did he did nothing just repeated the words <laughs> just repeated so in krishna consciousness also in this come so he just repeat the words of shila prabhupad even though we not may not be realized souls but still if we repeat the words of shila prabhupad we get nourished the other persons will get nourished so what is the third miracle spiritual nourishment so what is first one free from illusion fear lamentation second clarifies what sambandha abhidaya and prayojana third spiritual, spiritual nourishment next see the next miracle and heart is purified so nice talk i can repeat after me nashta prayeshu abhadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavate ruttam shloke bhakte bhavati naishtiki this is nityam bhagavata sevaya when we hear about bhagavata katha nityam all the time regularly what happens nashta prayeshu abhadreshu so whatever things are there in our heart abhadra abhadra means anarthas bad sinful tendencies all the impressions will be just washed off just washed off mm. it cleanses our heart mm. in krishna says शृण्वत स्वागत कृष्ण पुण्यश्रवन कीर्तन हृदय तो हि अभद्रा विदु नोती सुहृत्सता कृष्ण स्टिलिंग वेन वी हियर अबउट कृष्ण कृष्ण पर्सनली क्लेंस इज अवर हार्ट कृष्ण पर्सनली कम्स एंड क्लेंस इज अवर हार्ट सो दे मेनी मेनी एक्सापल्स इन द हिस्ट्री एंड इन द प्रेजेंट करेंट टाइम ऑल्सो वेन वी हियर अबउट कृष्ण ऑल द बैड सिंफुल अटेंडेंसीज विल बी जस्ट removed or washed away from the heart mm-hmm. even in the fifth class also very recently mm-hmm. in the first class i think here starting in maratali 
the first class what we had discussed about uh, during uh, dasara time we started this center mm -hmm. the first class was les live lessons from uh, ramayan which you heard on the day mm -hmm. in a different way we learned mm -hmm. so that is was the first class after here in that class one person one student who was very much addicted to alcohol cigarettes non veg by just hearing one class we didn't speak anything about this we didn't speak anything by just hearing one class immediately the next day he left everything he left it this is a powerful process it cleanses our heart definitely also have seen must experience this we don't externally speak initial classes but still people will come and share their realizations means someone or some boy he came and told during our prasadam he told one of the devotees he called him proji i don't know i am is addicted to drugs various stuffs in class we never speak this directly in the initial classes one boy came proji i had i have all these bad habits but i started hearing the lectures but you never spoke anything about this but i was thinking when i am attending these classes why should i have all these stuffs so i just left it i just left it mm. there was one uh, resort owner in shrirangapatnam maybe in june july we will have a plan we will go to that place is a uh, just 4 hours distance from bangalore we will have a nice spiritual retreat there so there one uh, then the resort where we stayed that resort one was telling uh, so one of his uh, far distant relative who is there he was very much addicted to drugs he was taken to rehabilitation center for 6 months he came back and rejuvenated again his drugs and medications were given he was taken to psychologist many things were given but nothing worked nothing worked he was doing again and again but let's see propat when shila propat went to the west by just people just hearing shila propat his vani in the immediate in few moments in few days people left drugs can you imagine this drugs at that time people think those people uh, hippies by having drugs going into some illusion that is spirituality there was this misconception mm -hmm. when prabhupad went they told at that time people don't know na there in the west who knows what is krishna what is bhagavad gita they don't know anything to that place prabhupad went and gave bhagavad gita and transformed those hippies into happies these hippies became sadhus sanyasis and traveling all over the world now i am preaching bhagavad gita and to the indians in india for <laughs> bhagavad gita came up hmm? so this is how strong bhagavad gita is this is how strong shravan process we need not speak anything externally but just hearing krishna katha all the anarthas will be cleansed heart will be purified from all the bad habits all the bad habits <clears throat> so this is called miracle people showing us some magics from one uh, box i'll bring us some uh, pigeon this is not miracle those hippies who are completely addicted mm -hmm. to all the non stuffs they are giving up all the non stuffs by just hearing this is the real miracle what do you say yes this is a miracle mm -hmm. heart is purified heart is cleansed so what is the first miracle free from illusion fear lamentation second prayer third spiritual mission fourth heart is purified can you understand how beautiful this is bhagavatam bhagavad gita just hearing just hearing we are getting the solutions of our life people are suffering people are suffering the only solution is get them to the class finish automatic all the bad habits will be removed they will be happy in their life spiritually nourished hmm? so now heart was cleansed okay the next is heart transformation or the life transformation of persons by just sharing hmm? so many people in the world are inclined to bhakti inclined but don't know where to start don't know where to start where is end they don't know hmm? and they take up something books some so called books some lectures here and there and they get completely com confused mm. so that's why we need a bona fide source bona fide source of hearing lectures 
bonafide source of books so if you don't if these people if these things are not bona fide the source is not bona fide will be completely frustrated and confused that is the end so the thing is be bona fide we cannot quote from any novel in this novel this person has told something so we cannot uh, hear from any tom dick and harry no we cannot hear any tom dick and harry any normal person no we have to hear that person who is coming in parampara who is a pure devotee of the lord so we have seen all the uh, qualifications of a spiritual master pure devotee so that should be the qualification of that particular person whom we are hearing or reading the books if he is not a bona fide source there is no question of hearing or reading these stuffs hmm. <clears throat> so the litmus test of any person who is progressing on the path of bhakti is his life transformation his life transformation i give you examples how people's lives transform yeah, i already discussed hippies that is the best example what else is needed hmm. but still there are many many examples there was one person who is very inquisitive to learn about spiritual life so he went to the library he took some book about some spiritual thing and he wanted to do know more about calm meditation mm-hmm. silent meditation mm-hmm. he opened the book read everything he didn't get what is head and tail of the book <laughs> he didn't know what is head and tail of this meditation finally he was frustrated and keeping the book in the rack as pushing it with frustration at that time one book fell on the he said tick and he saw the book and open the book and the first line he read is silent meditation is bogus this will not work in kaliva <laughs> but just reading this and that book is perfect questions perfect answers written by shri prabhupad and do you know what he became a very nice devotee of the lord one sentence one sentence can change one person's life person's life similarly there was one person who was also completely frustrated with his life and he uh, decided to commit suicide he decided to commit suicide so he is uh, is in the car stopped all the windows closed all the windows and started exhaust mm. so from where the poisonous smoke come mm. and he wants to die at that time one of our uh, iskon devotee went there and he was distributing books he is knocking on the door on the car door window sir book he was saying yaar he people don't leave me as a peacefully to die he was frustrated there ah karma monox is really yes and he wants to die he told take a chal 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 i don't want any book i want to die now i just left he was uh, trying to die committing suicide so what this bo- uh, boy thought what this devotee thought don't know how lord inspired so what he did he took the book and kept on that wind shield in front of the car it's there now which means is on the he did kept the book and left he didn't take money also he just left so this person who thought to commit suicide he was thinking however i am going to commit suicide however i am going to die so let's read this book and die he thought so <laughs> he opened the door read the book and do you know what he changed his decision he came to the temple and he became a nice devotee <laughs> this is called life transformation so when i'm telling about hearing means shravana means not just hearing and also it's also means reading reading of shila propad books and the many many cases like this many many cases very past i think long back i heard this one more person who wanted to commit suicide and he climbed on the bridge platform and he was about to jump from there at that time is when he was about to jump some paper came and hit his face and he opened it and read it and that is a paper torn from science of self realization book he just read one paper and he went searching for that book and that book was in the dust bin and he opened the book read it and became a devotee <laughs> he changed his decision to die and that book was taken by someone else and thrown in the dust bin he torn it torn it and that torn page came and changed this person's life this is a miracle people's lives is been changing that is why it's important to read shila prabhupad books and hear his lectures these are these are the miracles these are the miracles 
lives will be transformed heart will be transformed mm. so let's revise first thing first miracle free from fear lamentation and illusion second abhidaya prayojana and sambandh will be clarified good clarity will be third spiritual nourishment fourth heart is purified fifth heart transformation or even life transformation that is a miracle of just hearing or reading the books of shri prabhupada okay? and next is becoming grateful for what we have or else we can say realizing that what we have so most of the time in our life we always ponder upon those things which i don't have yes or no but we forget to realize that we have got many things in my life god has given krishna has given many things in our life we don't realize we forget to recognize that but still we ponder upon those things which we don't like when we hear what happens when we read the proper books what happens we will understand are i don't have anything theek hai philosophically why what is the reason why a person suffers because his own karma a person who reads just he understand he has nice perception he understand theek if i don't have theek what is the use of lamentation because my karma is not sanctioned it will not be there but whatever we have he will recognize the lord oh lord you have given me this you have given me this and he will be grateful to the lord whatever he has given whatever he has given the first thing we should all should be grateful is we have got this wonderful beautiful human form of life only in this human form of life we can perfect our life render pure devotion service to the lord and go back to the heart god head break the cycle of birth and death only this human only in this human form of body we can do this not in any other body dog body fish body elephant body nothing can be done but we have got such a wonderful body to break the cycle of birth and death can you imagine then how much grateful should we be to the lord he has given this support, such a wonderful opportunity to us another thing having a nice association of the people around so you can see the people around having the same goal in life want to progress in bhakti who are aspiring to attain the goal want to chant more in number of rounds and break this by a cycle of birth and death and follow the four regulative principles strictly so what are the four regulative principles no meat eating no gambling no illicit sex and no intoxication can you imagine all your mentors hmm, are on the path or even following those principles and we are getting such a wonderful association how much grateful should we be you tell yes or no sometimes we may not be coming for the sessions not coming for the uh, programs then they'll call you mukesh kalpatru gopal where are you you are not coming for the sessions any difficulty for you please come and when they come when we come they will give prasadam they give knowledge everything is there yes or no still you are facing some problem they will come to your room also <laughs> and just to give some sweet again and invite you for this such a wonderful caring devotees we have around us caring mentors we have you tell me how much grateful should we be to the lord yes or no so when we hear we get to know this we realize what we have and we'll be grateful for what we have understand so this will get only by hearing we can understand only by hearing this so what other things are there that we have to realize that we have got such a wonderful thing in bhakti and we should be grateful to what other things are there this opportunity okay you are grateful for this okay you got a job and you by this arrangement of the lord you came here okay very nice in bhakti specifically in the aspect of bhakti
as is all discussed we have such a wonderful caring devotees given by the lord and we have such a wonderful books of shila prabhupad from which we are discussing yes or no and prasadam as usual <laughs> how tasty prasadam we get by just i am prasadam also will get purified and another parameter of progress is gratitude so if you understand this we are getting such a wonderful things and basically we have shila prabhupad with us who have given this wonderful knowledge to us he sacrificed his life just only for us who has given us shila prabhupad lord has given in this way there are various steps in even bhakti that we should realize and be grateful to the lord how we understand this only by shravanam if you don't discuss this like this how will we also will get in this no how we can feel grateful to the lord or else we will be always pondering upon the i didn't get this i didn't get that all the time miserable but when we understand that i have got so many things so many things oh my lord then it is my turn what should i i have to serve you as na krishna has given everything krishna has given him. the person perception changes now krishna you have given me so much now it's my turn to give back to you to render service to you i just want to serve you nothing else i don't want to do anything else so another parameter of progress in path of bhakti is this gratitude having this grateful mood to the lord and the devotees you have given me such a wonderful opportunity to practice bhakti okay what is the first thing one 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 you can say what so what is the first miracle ha uh, free of illusion ha uh, your fullness and lamentation next second clarifies clarifies samanda avi prayojana and abhidey third spiritual nourishment fourth heart purifying fifth heart transformation life transformation sixth giving me become grateful for what we have Yeah, present this also hmm? is to happen. This happens. Yeah. And next is our sincerity increases. Our sincerity increases. Hmm. So when we generally when we give sessions to this uh, people, grasas or family members, so just attending sessions each and every day, so they get eagerness to hear and again. So they don't want to miss even a single session. Hmm. they are ready to change the schedule also and they come for the session when we ask we uh, don't you have any other engagement today prabhu ji this is general time for us for shopping but we want to hear this lecture so that's why we change the topic uh, the timing also or we change our schedules those who are not sincere and those who are not attending sessions they tell prabhu ji what to do we are shopping so couldn't come for the session those who are sincere they'll make out time for coming at and attend the sessions so by hearing what happens one becomes more and more sincere his sincerity increases for example i know many of you even though when sometimes you miss the session because of some genuine reason you ask for the links you write the notes and send the notes also this shows your sincerity how it's happening because you are hearing it because you are hearing it this is a nice process when we just hearing 
we can get more and more seriousness sincerity increases and another thing so when we hear about some great souls or some great devotees any inspiration from bhagavatam whom you know great devotee you are getting inspired to practice bhakti i want to be like him like this hmm? arjuna oh, arjuna is a great devotee you may be thinking arjuna followed krishna as it is i also want to be like arjuna hmm? any other great devotees you know jay pradat dro maharaj we'll discuss in detail chitrakit maharaj which we heard <laughs> so all this a great personalities when we hear about the what happens we also get the desire oh i want to be like him he is such a nice devotee i want to be like him so when we get that aspiration i want to be like him automatically we start sincerely practicing bhakti isn't it hmm? so this also happens when we hear about these great personalities that sincerity automatically increases hmm? so this is the seventh miracle of shravanam hmm? first one free from illusion fearfulness and lamentation second kalasu sambandha abhidaya prayojan third spiritual nourishment fourth heart purifying fifth heart transformation next sixth becoming grateful to the lord is very very important topic you hmm? become grateful to the lord so it's personal experience by all the devotees when we become grateful to the lord now our heart becomes soft when our heart becomes soft now then automatically we can practice bhakti nice thing this is a nice thing and seventh last thing seventh thing sincerity increases and next miracle by hearing is conviction in the process yes this process works that conviction comes so how this conviction comes after hearing okay by hearing the scriptures okay by hearing them so this is also happened in this this also may happen in my life hmm? some faith conviction will come what else hmm hmm chanting okay erinis correct so another important thing is shavanam that is hearing when you hear about what what happens and whatever you hearing and when we are implementing in our life and when we see the change in our life hmm? transformation in our life then conviction starts yes or no now you got a job you are going to office and since at the end of the month on 30th or the 1st of the month you account to be created your account is created with xxx amount yes or no means you got conviction these people are not cheating they'll give salary <laughs> Listen. Suppose you are not getting salary at the end of the month. What will they do? Will not have conviction that they will give. So similar in our life also. When we start hearing, when practice in our life, whatever is being applied, when we see the change in our life, transformation in our heart, automatically that conviction comes. Hmm. When we start experience, and that conviction comes, and that is what I want to do. Only bhakti, nothing else in life. Just want to do bhakti. this conviction comes and that is the conviction of shila prabhupada that is the conviction of shila prabhupada shila prabhupada says just follow four regulatory principles no meat eating no gambling no illicit sex no intoxication just follow for these four regulatory principles and chant 16 rounds sincerely every day you will go back to god it this is the conviction prabhupada has and he gave this pro- conviction to everyone in the mission of shila prabhupada hmm? once so happened one year reporter came and ask to shil propath propath and now you're doing all these stuffs what if at the last moment of your life you understand that there is no god that there is no krishna how do you feel then shil propath told take it even if i get to know that there is no krishna on hypothetically the whole life you're enjoying 
we attend these classes we have discourses we hear about krishna katha we nourish ourselves come out of our bad habits and lead a nice pure, uh, holistic life had nice prasadam dance in kirtan and we go out meet new new people in this way the whole life we have enjoyed even at the time we we'll enjoy the whole life enjoyment then propad asked the reporter what if you get to know that krishna is there <laughs> the reporter was stunned standing this is conviction so when you practice bhakti the conviction in the process comes hmm. conviction in the process comes so let's revise one by one yes first one. what is the first transformation of heart free from, free from illusion fearfulness and lamentation second clarifies sambandha abhidaya and prayojan by this time i think you these three terms will be going in your mind okay next spiritual arrangement next fifth one third fourth one heart 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 is purified next heart transformation life transformation next we become grateful for what we have sixth seventh since you take this eighth conviction in the process what i am doing is perfect there is no doubt at all i am coming attending the classes i am hearing i am practicing bhakti i am chanting hari krishna mantra i am doing service i am going out i am doing preaching this will take to me to back to god it this conviction comes when this conviction comes only when we hear shravanam hmm? next miracle will see hmm? the next miracle is perspective of life changes <clears throat> many big big giants of corporate they can much share their uh, reflections proji my perspective of life is completely different but when i attend this festival of enlightenment course my perfect perspective of the whole life is completely changed big big giants of corporate they were sharing these realizations just attending the sessions mm. so what happens when we hear <coughs> that discrimination power what is it will get the discrimination power so what is this discrimination power understanding what is right what is wrong what is important what is not important so we'll get a nice clarity on this means basically the discrimination power increases so all of us uh, know and uh, <clears throat> what is to be done what is not to be done so we know all the stuffs like uh, what are the bad habits are there these are not to be done how will get to know by hearing yes or no so there was one prabhupada disciple at the age of 20 in a foreign country when he was in foreign so we only when prabhupada went and they preach that meeting meat eating is not good at the age of 20 only then he got to know that one shouldn't eat meat that is not proper till the age of 20 don't know only at least in india we have some clarity because we hear from our parents this is not good but what to do they are also having we are also having <laughs> so what should we come out of this so people don't know this person got to at the age of 20 can you imagine this how he got to know by just hearing from shila prabhupath what is right what is wrong the next thing is masturbation illicit sex how will get to know this is not good by hearing people think now oh just uh, everyone is doing is let me also enjoy because the whole world is going wrong side now so let me just part maybe this is con people what they are doing that may be wrong <laughs> chanting kya karte galat cheez acche cheez ke bahar jao ladki ko patao ghumao khao acche se because the whole world is going with us because mind will trick us are the whole world is going on the way why you coming and attending the sessions on sunday saturday evening 4:30 gone mad or what mind will also trick us so people don't know what is right and wrong they in the stall in masturbation when person does a small one drop of semen is equal to 80 drops of blood one drop of semen is equal to 80 drops of blood so when one does this what happens is memory loss will be less, memory power will be less is energy will be less this is a vital fluid in the body is energy will be less 
and drains out his energy memory will be less so many problems will come but people don't know but when we hear again and again we'll get to know what is right what is wrong and act on that particular platform means basically the perspective changes till now oh, let's do it enjoyment is yes no? but when we hear this is right this is wrong we leave it is yes no? similarly with the illicit sex gambling intoxication all these are bad but when we hear only then we get to know got the point hmm? this is how our perspective of life changes and when we get to know after hearing this people give up immediately people just give up immediately the only thing is information should be shared hearing should happen from a bona fide source automatically the heart transformation check plus perception of life changes hmm. and people also understand that people are enjoying this material world and thinking that everything is permanent but when we hear we understand that everything is temporary in this world even this body is only temporary what are we hankering for hmm? the whole perspective of life changes before coming to bhakti before hearing from the scriptures what what is the thing what is the goal of life i want to enjoy my senses be in the material world but when it comes to that realization or hearing that everything is in this world is temporary then there is no question of lamentation no sorrow no angry so in this way the whole the perception of life changes and perception changes to a right platform that is on the spiritual platform a person will be always blissful always blissful and also always peaceful there is no question of lamentation anywhere there is no question of lamentation so this is what happens even when some critical situation comes he feel no oh, okay it's because of my karma it's coming what to do now hmm? or else if a person don't have this uh, knowledge not hearing from scriptures not need, reading from scriptures what do you think are yaar i have gone this do 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 he will always think bad now he will always keep lamenting but when one understand philosophy what he will understand hey, this is my karma a person changes this way hare krishna hare krishna nice to see you all you all came for ram navami right you are listed also oh very nice your good name he want to be he want to be i i the one yes. spoke to yourself amish pass amish 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 pass amish okay samir samir very nice nice to see you here so one information i think uh, the information didn't get in so we're starting a new batch for all of you from the 27th that is a uh, coming saturday so these are uh, sessions going up for your seniors this is a level 2 so higher level topics but uh, nice to see you your eagerness mm, to come here and uh, here so you can stay for some time mm. so after that uh, i can take you okay so you can stay for some time okay if you need to you can talk to the volunteers okay so on 27th the next saturday we'll start the batch 6 o'clock you can bring your friends also at the time mm. so continue the topic here mm. so only by hearing this what happens the perception of life changes from negative perception to positive perception mm-hmm. and this is what happens when the karma blast in our life we blame the lord why this is happening in my life understanding when something good happens when something good happens then we we'll tell oh lord why me when something bad happens no oh lord why me q why only me when something good happens i am the one मेरे किया मेरे खुद किया देन लॉर्ड विल नॉट बी रिमेंबर्ड बट व्हेन वी हियर अगेन एंड अगेन व्हाट हैपेंस द परसेप्शन चेंजेस इदर गुड और बैड दैट इज गिवन बाय द लॉर्ड दैट इज लॉर्ड्स मर्सी सो इट इज टोल्ड राके कृष्ण मारे के मारे कृष्ण राके के सो इफ कृष्ण डिसाइड्स टू किल समवन हु कैन प्रोटेक्ट हिम इफ कृष्ण वांट्स टू प्रोटेक्ट समवन हु कैन किल हिम अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस इज अ बंगाली सेइंग this is the thing if krishna gives how many hands do we have two hands krishna has unlimited hands in his universal form he has unlimited hands and with his unlimited hands if he gives with these two hands how much can we hold ha huh? with his unlimited hands if he snatches away how much we can hold yes or no <laughs> so we get to this right understanding 
this what is right so basically the perception of life changes completely from negative to positivity in the krishna consciousness so i'm sure all of you were experiencing this all these transformations all these miracles in your life so just a revision for all of you so these are the nine let's revise first thing first miracle free from illusion fear lamentation next clarifies sambandha abhideya prayojana third spiritual and nourishment fourth art is purifying fifth heart transformation sixth becoming grateful to the lord whatever whatever you have got seven sincerity increases eighth conviction in the process nine perspective of life changes when this we get a nice positive perspective the life will be blissful all these transformations all these things miracles will happen only when we hear only when we hear hmm? next final thing we will do hmm. final miracle what happens by hearing scriptures from bona fide source very important thing hmm? the final thing that miracle happens is it pleases the guru when we hear the guru will be pleased guru will be pleased so when you come here what happens we are always taking 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 i said no physically we are taking mentally we are taking emotionally we are taking just taking 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 what we are doing coming to his con we are taking prasadam we are taking service we are taking classes everything we are taking only <laughs> what are we giving back and also what can we give back what can we give back nothing but only one thing what we can do is attentively hearing the lectures attentively hearing the lectures attentively reading shila prabhupad books because prabhupad has taken so much of hardships our guru shila prabhupad he has taken so much of hardships at the end end of his life for the last is give his life for this uh, writing more and more books giving lectures traveling all over the world 14 times at the age of 70 can you imagine this can you imagine so one devotee told shila prabhupad shila prabhupad i just want to be stay at your lotus feet then shila prabhupad told this is not possible because i will be all the time traveling <laughs> it's not possible at the age of 70 is traveling all over the world to give what krishna consciousness for us he did so much of sacrifice for us so what can we do in return for him hearing attentively when we hear attentively automatically guru will be pleased that shila prabhupad will be pleased hmm. so we have to develop that eagerness to hear about krishna hmm. so shila prabhupad writes in one of the purports of shrimad bhagavatam eagerness to hear is the first qualification to go back to the godhead eagerness to hear maybe the same thing you know krishna consciousness we speak about most about three three things about bhakti about bhakta and bhagwan apart from this there is nothing we apart from this is nothing and we may speaking again and again same thing but still when we develop the eagerness to hear and again that is the first qualification to go back to god so we have to develop that eagerness that shila prabhupad will be very very pleased prabhupad will be very pleased now the question may arise now shila prabhupad is not there yes or no how he will get into that i am hearing correct no i will get to know any guesses ha huh? no, no no only these three my students how prabhupad will get to ah ha ha Oh, soul to soul connection. Maybe he is looking into us. Okay, maybe looking into us. Okay, Guru, he can have perception. Okay, very nice. Mm. So, he, <coughs> in the spiritual master's heart also there is super soul. Yes or no? In our heart also there is Paramatma. Paramatma is same. So, you can tell that connection, Bluetooth connection this is. <laughs> so, when we are sincerely hearing lectures, what happens? Attentively, the Paramatma in the Havra heart, 
Heal me please and tell to our Guru, this particular devotee, this particular disciple of yours, he is attentively hearing your lectures, he is attentively reading your uh, books, then Paramatma will tell that Guru. So in this way, Bluetooth connection happens. So Guru will get to know everything through the medium of Paramatma. So this thing we have to understand when we hear sincerely attentively, Guru will be pleased. Even, even Prabhupada in his lifetime also, in the initial stages of his uh, meeting with his, his Guru, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur, so they were also in a uh, spiritual retreat. So all of them have been to Vrindavan. Hmm? Srila Prabhupada, his uh, Guru Maharaj, his spiritual master and many other devotees, thousands of devotees were there. Hmm? Then there was a condition in the hall. So Srila Prabhupada's Guru is there, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur. So he told in the hall that, see now there are two options, either you can go out and do all Parikrama of Vrindavan, see all the temples that take darshan and come. And other option is, I am going to give you class now, you please sit and hear. Most of the devotees went, <laughs> just to do some darshan to Parikrama Vrindavan. And most of them are grihasthas. And only few were sitting. And in those few, most of them were sannyasis. But there was only one grihastha, that is Srila Prabhupada. And Srila Prabhupada sat and he wants to hear. Then Bhakti Siddhan says, Thakur, his Guru Maharaj, his spiritual master, recognized this. This person is having eagerness to hear. Definitely he'll become a great person in the future. His spiritual master recognized. Can you imagine this? Your spiritual master is telling you something. You will become a great person in the future. It's a great blessing. Can you imagine this? That is what Prabhupada did it. So when we have this eagerness to hear more and more from the spiritual aspects from Guru, so automatically that will please the Guru. This is the next miracle. This is the next miracle. Now we have Srila Prabhupada's recordings with us. So it is, he is the only Acharya whose audio recordings were with us. No other Acharya's recordings were there. As it is. No Ramanujacharya's, no Madhvacharya, no Shankaracharya, no one's. No Acharya's lectures were directly recorded. And we have this opportunity to hear Srila Prabhupada, the Acharya's lectures a lot. So there is a website. It's called uh, desire.com. Prabhupada Vani. So tomorrow onwards, so one of the volunteers will send you the groups. So I'd request each and everyone to hear these lectures every day, at least 15 minutes, you have to take out time. Here, today's whole topic is that, Shravanam, I am just a practitioner of Bhakti. If I am only speaking, so much of difference is coming here. If one Srila Prabhupada speaks, when pure devotee, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Sena Bhakta, if he speaks, what transformation will come? Do you understand? Hippies were changed. Can you imagine? By his purity. When we also hear from Srila Prabhupada, we can get the same transformation of heart, same change. So from tomorrow onwards, we'll start with the exercise. So we'll send lectures of Srila Prabhupada. So here, 15 minutes, and send the notes personally to me. I'll check. So that's why hearing is very, very important. And this hearing, eagerness to hear, is the first qualification to attain the kingdom of God, to go back to the spiritual world. Now the thing is, hearing is very nice. I can understand the whole session is about hearing, hearing, hearing. The question is, can I hear from anywhere? From any source? What do you say? What do you all say? Why? Why? Why the reason? Nishan? Water? Why? Anyone cannot teach the Anyone? Anyone cannot teach anything. Ah. Who has the certificates and all, who is entitled to teach the subject, mm. will go there. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And also still, even the same persons, there is a difference in the mood. So when we are hearing, we are not just getting the information. We are not just getting the contact. We are getting the mood and consciousness of a person. 
some devotees ask prabhuji can i hear those uh, bhajans of lord krishna which are sung in the movies those are also related to lord only na they are also doing kirtan of the lord can i hear no because in what mood they are they singing in what consciousness are they singing if a person is thinking if i sing this song if it becomes famous i will become famous i will get more money ha huh? if a person is singing in that way and if we are hearing to that particular person the same consciousness will transfer to us we are hearing about the lord that is okay but the consciousness also depends the consciousness changes from good consciousness to will get to bad consciousness the same mood and consciousness will come into the mind we may be thinking i want to attain krishna this very life we'll be discussing all the stuffs but when we hear from the non bona fide sources this is what happens the content may be about krishna only the person may be in the bona fide only but still the mood depends the mood and consciousness of a person so our sampradaya so i would suggest everyone so should hear only from iskon and shila prabhupad i know other lectures maybe bona fide bona fide are there for sure but still what mood are they because our sampradaya is different our mood is different so when we are getting some advantage from someone shouldn't we be chaste to them yes or no so how a wife will be chaste to husband there may be many people hmm? there may be many people who can make a wife a pregnant there are many capable people but still woman is chaste to his husband to her husband only understanding similarly there may be many bona fide sampradayas okay but since who has who is our master from whom we have taken this advantage of krishna consciousness to through isko to shila prabhupat so we should be chaste to our sampradaya should be chaste to shila prabhupat so we'll hear only from shila prabhupat we are only hear from isko and nowhere else so in this way we have to develop our chastity and be in that mood suppose you want to hear from others i'll give a small example to understand suppose you now we are an engineering student and now you are going and sitting in medical college what does it matter yes or no you want to become something else and hearing somewhere else hmm? uh, you may tell and then i want to become engineer my father told i should become med- uh, medical student also i want to become a uh, doctor also you he will be here for some time and you will be there for some time there is no proper goal only yes or no and the consciousness of something else what to be done? that is only gone there will be no clarity in life and also all the time is in the confusion like some of you all the time discuss prabhu ji i heard from this person i heard from there so because of hearing it to so many many personalities from so many non bona fide authorities various stuffs we get confused hmm? and many people because of this confusion they leave bhakti also they have interest to practice bhakti but still they want they hear hear and they they want to explore explore more bandu idhar bhi suno udhar bhi suno ye bhi padho wo bhi padho itna pad pad ke itna sun sun ke pura confuse ho jata hai and he will not get any clarity what to do and finally give up are yaar what to do it's always confusion so let me give up this thing and resume, resume my sense gratification he left all the stuffs he left sense gratification and want to progress in bhakti but because of this hearing so many ways so many people so many sources i reading so many books from different sources he get confused and leave this he leaves the attitude of to progress in bhakti also and again back to sense gratification again back to sense activities understanding so why we should hear only from one source or else we will be confused are yaar even if we want to explore how much time is left do you know when we are going to die huh? <laughs> we don't when we are going to die Hmm. at least parikshit maharaj got to know that is going to die in 7 days when he got to know he just left everything he has young wife young children he has the whole kingdom in his hand the whole earthly planet but when he got to know that is going to die he left everything he just came to the banks of ganges and accepted shukdev goswami as his spiritual master and just heard it 7 days and 7 nights just hearing 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 and nothing else that is what our topic today just hearing he was just hearing from shukde goswami he didn't go anywhere else by just hearing this uh, hearing the process 
ಅವ್ರ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಹಿ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಡೈ ಡೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೈರಿ ಡೇಟ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೈರಿ ಡೇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಅ ಡೈ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ಡ್ ಇನಫ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೋನ್ ಆಫ್ ಐಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಒನ್ ಪಾತ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಸಮ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಮಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಹದೇವ್ಪುರ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ಓನ್ ದಿ ಒನ್ ಪಾತ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪಾತ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನು ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ನೀ ನಾಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೋಪ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೋ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ನೋ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈಡ್ ಓ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ರೇಸರ್ಸ್ ಎಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ರೇಸರ್ಸ್ ಎಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಶೇವ್ ನ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಈವನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಡಿವಿಯೇಷನ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ರೇಸರ್ಸ್ ಎಡ್ we should be very careful from whom i am ever hearing if you little bit deviant blood comes out maybe not physically mental emotional spiritual blood comes out so that's why we should hear only from his come only from propath and nothing else okay so as we are discussing so the mood effects we have to hear only this or else otherwise everything is kichdi only nothing else kichdi we don't want kichdi while having prasad okay but not in the philosophy we know this pain thing and shila propat lectures are already recorded so this was never in the past any acharya's lectures were heard or recorded this is a great benediction we have got even in iskon all of us every day we hear shila propat lecture any other lecture we may hear may not hear but shila propat lecture is every time all the time we are shil propal that is our sadhana so what is your sadhana as of you are doing chanting one two rounds yes or no so we have to intensify our sadhana so what is intensifying our sadhana or increasing our sadhana chanting reading shil propal books hearing shil propal lectures and seva doing service so we have to increase this dose we have to intensify those dose so from tomorrow onwards we have to start another sadhana sadhana same sadhana we have to increase the an aspect of hearing shila propats lectures initially maybe you may be understanding or not there is a difference but you have to hear with the time you will get to understand you will get to understand so it's very very important process to hear from shila propat okay so with this i would like to conclude today's discussion any questions <clears throat> any questions clarify done parroting let's revise let's come from behind me so starting saying it confuse now is <laughs> what is the first thing free from illusion fearfulness lamentation you tell the second one you are telling all the time second one no second you tell prayojana yeah third spiritual meditation fourth heart purification fifth heart transformation next become grateful for what we have next spiritually sincerity grace ah next conviction in the process of bhakti conviction in the process of bhakti yes book dekhi hmm? perspective of life changes next please is the guru this should be the life of us how can i please guru how can i please shri prabhupa that's it if we can have all that as our aim of life so what is shri prabhupa is telling i just want to do i just want to please shri prabhupa that's it our life is successful at the end of your life you can be guaranteed that you can go back to godhead following the great souls <clears throat> it should be guaranteed like this 
So another person I would like to describe. So Srila Prabhupada, he, he only written all the books. Sometimes he would ask his uh, disciples to read his books. So Srila Prabhupada's disciple used to read his books louder. So that Srila Prabhupada would hear. So what is it? And Prabhupada would tell at some particular point, Oh, this point is very nice. And disciples would tell, Srila Prabhupada, you are the one who written the books. You don't know? Then Prabhupada told, I'm just an instrument. So whatever I have written in my book, that is all told by Krishna personally to me. Uh, Krishna was dictating to me, I'm just writing. We basically, we can understand when we are reading or hearing the lectures, we are hearing directly the words of Krishna. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine this? So we cannot take uh, lightly this. We have to become intense in our devotion service. How long will we uh, stuck up at one, two rounds? We have to increase our rounds. Chanting more and more rounds. You have time now. You all are seniors now. Now from the next Saturday, we are going to start a new batch. You people have to guide them. You have to increase our rounds. Hearing the lectures. When we hear lectures of Srila Prabhupada, we get clarity in philosophy. More and more. And we will become purified, more and more purified, that we can guide others. When we do more and more service, automatically we will feel the bliss by doing service. And we can encourage others also. Encourage others, come for these sessions and uh, take advantage of this. So we have to intensify our bhakti. Increasing chanting, hearing, seva. What else? Reading. Reading Srila Prabhupada books. Okay? Take it. So we'll uh, conclude today's discussion. Srila Prabhupada ki. We have some activity.